This is race two of the Horizon Cup, and it's my newest Horizon competitive racing series. In today's race, we're using this wide body BMW M4 and racing it around this custom built race circuit out in the jungle. And in today's video, we're gonna be catching up with two groups. We're starting off with group A, which is the fastest racers in Forza Horizon 5. And this race is so intense and it literally goes down to the final lap. You won't believe the ending. And then we jump over to group F and that was my group. And let's just say I put the F in group F. Yeah. Anyways, if you think this series is cool and you want to race in the next one, you can join the AR12 Discord server and the qualifying will open next week. Good luck and enjoy the video. Our three big guns are the top guys here. Mars, Green, and Dan. Those are three of the top four qualifiers. Oh, Mars got some very unfortunate RNG starting all the way back here. Look at that potato quality this man runs. Green got even worse RNG. No way. This is going to be an intense race. We'll jump on board here. And away we go for race number two of the Horizon Cup. Good luck, lads. On board with Green. Already getting the good launch. Mars is up in front in P9. One guy runs it very, very wide into the wall. Everybody makes up a position there. Banana drops all the way back. Somebody's lagging and somebody's off. Oh, that is unfortunate. Mars is just smooth. Already up to P6. Looking good. Dan is holding P4. Domino's dropped down a couple of positions. XNDR is currently leading. Pav P2. Domino P3. And Mars is just chilling in P5 right now. Just watching everything in front. Domino runs it wide. Mars moves up to P4. That is so many overtakes already on the opening lap. That is insane. Mars is pushing. Yo, Krill's having a pretty good race as well. Down in P7. Battling with Domino. There's Green up in front. But Mars is just keeping the pressure on. It's insane. Oh, damn. Dan nearly missed that checkpoint. Look how smooth these guys are. Mars had an awesome lap number one and nearly is about to get Dan up the inside with a better corner exit out of corner one. Is he going to make it stick? He's going to have to hang it around the outside. He's not even going to need to. Man makes the overtake happen miles before the corner and Mars moves up to P3 and now Dan is turning on the pressure to Mars. Well played. Oh, that's awesome. Meanwhile, further down in the pack, Egoism gets a run on Krill and he moves up to P6. Well done. This BMW is not easy to drive. These guys are making it look easy, but trust me, it is so difficult to actually drive this thing and be consistent with it. What you've got to remember is for my group, we don't actually have any collisions on. Only group A and group B have collisions on. So if Mars wants to make an overtake, he's gotta look up the inside. Maybe going on to lap number three, Pav squeezes him. Well played, well played. Pav is not gonna make the overtake easy for Mars. P1, 2, and 3 are pulling away from Dan, but Dan's kind of in his own little world now. He can kind of relax and watch these guys and almost kind of wait for them to make a mistake. They are some of the best drivers though. So maybe relying on them making a mistake, but Pav runs it wide and Mars is not gonna need a second invitation up the inside, but he's gotta hold it round the outside and P1 bumps him to the wall. Oh, wow. Th these guys are unbelievable at driving. Here's Green in P5, still following Dan, still following Mars, and just waiting for that prime opportunity. Mars is still waiting for that prime opportunity. Mars is again having a run on Pav with a better exit, but again, Pav is not going to make it easy. Oh, wow. Pav closes the door for what feels like the 17th time already. Oh, there we go. Pav runs it wide and Mars doesn't need a second invitation. Well, he needed a couple there to be honest, but Mars makes it stick. P2 for Mars. Well played. Green is right on the back of Pav. Pav's not going to give up though. 
Oh, and look at this back here. One of them runs it in the wall. That was Pav. I think Pav just put it into one of the props and got hung up on it. No. P1 has maybe a second on Mars. Mars is chilling back here. And Green is also chilling maybe a second behind or so. Mars is keeping the pressure on beautifully right now. Just closing in a little bit. A little bit. You don't need to go for hero moves just yet. You can wait and wait for your opportunity. We're on lap six of 16. Mars is going, looking up the inside with a better exit. Mars is gonna do it up to P1. Mars is just unstoppable today. Mars is a rocket ship. Oh, did XNDR miss a checkpoint? He just dropped down to P3 and now Green is up to P2. No, he didn't. XNDR just pulled out of the way for some reason. Mars can chill up in P1, but if Mars relaxes too much, Green is going to be on him in a second. Dan back here is a 145.5, still closing in on P3. Lovely stuff there. No way. Green just put in a 44.6. Green is just zooming. Green is actually getting drafts off the back of Mars. We're at the halfway point of this race, but I think it's only going to get more intense. And Mars is smoking it up. Mars might be feeling the pressure. Mars nearly hits the wall. Mars is definitely feeling the pressure you can see. His lines are kind of off. His balance of the car is kind of off. Yo, Mars is feeling the pressure. Yo, this is still anybody's game. Look at Green. Green's just nailing this. A little bit of slip out of the out of the hairpin there. How are things going for Dan? So Dan was actually able to overtake XNDR and is now in P3. But if you can see the minimap, he's not very far in front. So Dan is going to be under pressure as well. Wait, is his name Xander? Anyways, Xander is right behind. Oh, speaking of people right behind, hello. There's only a handful of laps left in this race and I still don't know who I would put money on to win. Mars obviously has the advantage being in P1 right now, but I think Green actually has better pace. These guys are actually closing in on P11 and might end up lapping him. Every single lap, Green gets a little bit closer. He's like on his tail. He's on his tail right now, pushing him up the hill through the hairpin. This is insane. And now they're going to be coming up on lapped drivers. And that's only going to make things even more complex for these guys. Unbelievable. Look at him. Look at him. Mars touches the wall. Green's got to run, but he's going to have to go the long way round. Wheel to wheel across the start finish line. Mars has the inside though. Mars is going to hold that every single day. Well played, Mars. Well played. Oh, the back marker actually just backed out. I can't even deal with this. I don't know how these guys are dealing with this. Literally nose to tail. Look at them both getting on the brakes. Mars is almost like brake checking green. Oh, man. I think you can see why these guys are the best of the best racers out there. It's unbelievable. And green gets another run. Closing in on the back of Mars. Mars goes to cover him off. Up the inside. Green is late on the brakes. Green nearly just ruined his entire race. With only a handful of laps left to go, though, Green's got to do it. Green is all the way up here, maybe like corner four, corner five. Meanwhile, Dan is the person behind, and he's like a full corner behind, maybe even two corners behind. So if Green wants to send it and risk it for P1... He can, and he probably won't lose P2. First quarter is a very tricky overtaking spot. I'm not really sure if that'd be the place where I would go for an overtake. This would probably be a good place because you can get a nice exit and get a run up the hill, especially going into the hairpin. If you can get up the inside going into the hairpin, you can 100% get an overtake. Everybody else in the pack is just having a lovely normal drive and these two are about to murder each other literally nose to tail on lap 14 out of 16 is green gonna be able to force mars into a mistake and get p1 that is the question mars bumps the wall coming out of the final corner onto the start finish straight two laps 
to go. Green sending it into corner one. Chooses not to go for the overtake right there. Sitting right behind Mars in the slipstream. Straight up the hill. Who is going to do it? Is one of these guys going to make a fatal error? Green looks up the inside on Mars. They go wheel to wheel through the right hander. Green has got the inside. Is able to box Mars out. Green's got him. Green has got him. Mars drops to P2. No way. Well done, Green. It might have taken him like 15 laps. But Green has got Mars. There is still a lap and a half to go. Can Mars catch up? Mars would need a hero lap. But if anybody can do it, it'd be Mars. Green literally went last to first. Unbelievable. All right, let's see what Mars can do. Green. Oh, Mars is even bumping the wall. Oh, Mars is a little far back to maybe make a move. I think Mars pulled out of it. Yeah, that is such a good, such a good finish. Maybe Mars won't think it's such a good finish. But that was an insane battle. Only one corner left to go. And Green is going to do it. Round the final corner. Green takes it. P1 for green, P2 for Mars. An insane race, absolute beauty from both of these guys. Take a look at those finishing results. Green P1, Mars P2, Dan P3, Xander P4, Ego P5, Krill P6. GG's go out to group A. And now it's time to embarrass myself in, in group F. Oh, fire! Oh no! I've got everything against me. This is not a good start. And without further ado, Group F for the Horizon Cup. And away we go. All right, so I haven't actually dropped down to last. That is good. So what you've got to remember about our group is our group has no collisions turned on. So uh, just to keep the race a little bit cleaner, because um, let, let's be honest, this group lacks a little bit of skill compared to that other group. Hopefully we don't ruin each other's races, essentially. Because that happened. All right, boys, I'm going from last to first. I hate competitive racing. I am not built for this. I'm built to be the ha-ha funny guy who crashes into things. I don't know why I do this to myself. Last to first. There we go. There's a position or two. That was actually two. We're up to P10. Keep it on the road. P9, baby. We are making up some positions. Okay, I am driving like garbage. My practice laps were beautiful. Bad news, Fire is in first place. Okay, Fire has dropped down to P5. Fire has had a skill issue. Things we love to see at the moment. Okay, look at this guy drifting like that. That is not gonna be the fastest way. Just a heads up. I am bearing down on P7 and P8 in front. Yo, we might actually be able to do okay. I just need to drive clean and smooth and not drift out of the corner like that every time. So frustrating. There we go. We get a position there. We're up to P8, baby. There's P7. And fire's only just in front, boys. Fire's only just in front. We can get him. Nice exit for me. Up the hill. Go. 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 Here we go. Get him. Get him. Reel him in. Oh, I didn't mean to bump that wall. And we lose P7 again. I think I need some coaching lessons from Mars or Green. I'm, I'm not good under pressure. Hey, I'm catching someone. Bye. Bro, I just, I honestly don't understand how people are so smooth with a controller. Like, that's the thing. Like, with the wheel, I get it. I'm having a good little battle for P8 here. But it is not the battle I want. Still gaining. Oh, got him. Make that P8. Let's go. Oh, I thought that was going to bounce me too far and make me miss that checkpoint. That was lucky. That was super lucky. Look at these guys behind. Oh, yeah. We're getting it now, baby. We're getting it now. Let's go. Let's go. 151 one, gang. We are zooming. Okay, I'm, lo I'm losing the guy in P7. This is not good. It sucks that I'm actually learning the fastest way to drive this track on lap 13. <laughs> no! Whoa! <laughs> I'm pu 
push it now, baby. I told you I'm a better drifter than I am racing driver. Look at all of these guys I caught up to now. Wow, no way. Octopat is already done. Are you kidding me? But who's gonna have the fastest lap? Ah, why is there a guy in there? <laughs> that scared me. All right, PA. It's not where I wanted to be, but what was Fire's lap time? A 150-0? Octopat, well done, sir. You absolutely nailed it out there. And I took a big fat L to Fire.